So yeah, I watched SpongeBob SquarePants a lot. But, nothing has really been going on with the show after it has been airing for years. Well, I found an episode that will change your life forever. Let me tell you about the lost episode called Grief. It was winter of 2008, and the first time I actually saw this episode, is, when Nickelodeon was showing an episode trailer on it. I was watching an old episode of Spongebob, when I was 15, until halfway a commercial came up. I got annoyed and waited it to be over, until this type of commercial caught my attention. The commercial said there was a new Spongebob episode coming up, and they also said this. Whatever you do, do not change the channel. This episode is gonna be silly and absolutely hilarious. Stay tuned for a brand new Spongebob. I got excited and waited for it to air, but the problem is, they said it's coming soon. So I couldn't find and record it. January 15th. 2008. At this point, Nickelodeon announced again that the episode is airing today. I was getting prepared, and the episode finally started. But when it did, I noticed something strange. Regularly, the intro would start with the captain saying, Are you ready, kids? But instead he never said anything. The camera then was just dumped into the ocean, and the captain said, Who committed suicide under the sea? instead of the old regular who lives in a pineapple under the sea line. The children depressingly responded. SpongeBob SquarePants. The children's voices didn't sound like the original voices, more like adults. Depressed adults. When the intro finally ended, SpongeBob didn't play his nose flute like usual. Instead he grabbed a gun and aimed towards his head. I covered my eyes to avoid any door. Until I wasn't fast enough and saw hyper-realistic blood squirt out of Spongebob's head, even his brains were showing, I was disgusted. When it had finally ended, the title card showed as grief, the song was depressing as well, and the font didn't look like the regular Spongebob font. It had a Playfair display font. But the episode didn't show the opening credits, it didn't show the bubbles popping like regularly when a Spongebob episode starts. It started with Spongebob, Squidward, and Patrick's house. It then zoomed in towards Spongebob's house, only to see Gary the snail crying. No furniture was inside Spongebob's house, except the tearing wallpaper and Gary. But he was crying in a human form, not in the cartoonish way. Then, it cut to Squidward, showing him cry as well. He said, Why did the yellow friggin' idiot have to die? I was shocked. I never hear any words like friggin' inside a kid's show, anyway, I kept watching it. It seems to cut to Patrick's rock, to see him holding a rifle against his mouth. Only to hear Patrick say in a strange voice I never heard before. I can't live without SpongeBob. And he shot himself in the throat, only to see the hyper-realistic blood splatter all over the wall. I was disgusted that I threw up in the toilet. When I came back, it showed a scene, where the Krusty Krab was going bankrupt. Mr. Krabs was very upset, he was sobbing loudly, the restaurant was then destroyed and Mr. Krabs starting whimpering. He then slouched and walked home, only for the screen to cut to black. After a few seconds of that, it showed Spongebob. For some reason he acted like everything was fine to him, he was skipping happily, then Spongebob stopped his happy song, he gave a strange look and stared at the camera creepily and said, Am I cartoon? Then he kept repeating the word grief, and eventually the screen turned to loud static, I was confused, because Spongebob was actually breaking the fourth wall. The next scene displayed a photo of Patrick, and Spongebob was next to it. He was crying, because Patrick killed himself, but somehow, Gary wasn't there. I then jokingly thought, did Gary go to the international snail race? I also can hear quiet static in the background, it got louder and louder until Spongebob eventually stopped crying, he went upstairs into his room, with a realistic looking neck rope. He put it on, and the screen turned to black, for about 4 seconds. When it was done, I only saw that Spongebob hung himself in a gross and dangerous way. I was very shocked that Nick would allow this. The next scene involved Patchy the pirate. He was furious. Patchy turned to the audience with a creepy smile and said, This is all Nickelodeon's fault. Spongebob died because of it. He also swore a million times uncensored, including the F word. 
he turned to the camera again and said in the creepiest voice I ever heard. Do not trust Nickelodeon, you. I was really creeped out when he said the last word, because it almost seems like he was talking to me directly, which he was. He then turned to Potty and grabbed a bat. Potty was begging for his life. Patchy didn't listen and whacked Potty to death to show his organs squirting out of his body, and blood gushing out as well. I didn't want to see this, but I was forced to. Patchy laughed in craziness and repeated. Bring back SpongeBob or grief. The scene ended and another came with Sandy. She was doing an experiment with realistic looking dead corpses. Sandy then exclaimed. No, I found it. I didn't know what she actually meant by that. Until I realized that she is gonna turn them into zombies. Sandy went into her treehouse and got out a green liquid cup that looked like it was a million years old. She put one drop on them and one zombie rose, it was hostile though. It attacked Sandy, she screamed. The zombie then looked at the camera and attacked it, like an actual person filming it. The screen faded to black again but to only show a title card saying two years later with no French narrator. It shows the graveyard of all the characters who died in Bikini Bottom. The sky was blood red, there were no flowers either, the music was depressing again. Most of the gravestones said grief and I thought I had enough Spongebob for the day. So I turned the TV off and went to sleep and tried not to think about what I just saw. When I turned Spongebob back on, I caught something disturbing. The episode was still playing, and I saw Spongebob holding a chainsaw. He was filled with bloodshot eyes, the chainsaw was also covered in blood as well. Then he turned to the camera with a crazed look on his face. He then approached the screen and stopped. Spongebob said in three words. You can't hide. The TV yet again cut to black, for over a minute this time. Then I saw something even more disturbing. I saw a very graphic image of Squidward, Patrick, Mr. Krabs, etc. They were killed and slaughtered. In fact, the images were so realistic that I ended up throwing up again. It then played a creepy music box with static sounds. It displayed a blurry static image. It looked like a knife. This scene lasted for about five minutes. After it was over SpongeBob grabbed it and went outside his house. He spoke again, this time in a creepy voice. Time is over, Steven. I was really creeped out at this moment, Spongebob actually knew Steven Hillenburg. He walked into darkness, a slicing and a man screaming can be heard. The episode ended with the words, grief. I was then absolutely done with Spongebob, I deleted the show, and never recorded it again. Overall, after watching the episode, I keep hearing noises at night. I try to tell my parents but they said nothing is there. I also try messaging Nick about the episode but they always respond, Hello fan. We do not know what in the world you are talking about, maybe try talking about suggestions for new Spongebob episodes. Thanks, Nickelodeon. I also keep getting nightmares about the episode as well. Whatever you do, do not watch this episode. Even if Nickelodeon announces it to you, 